Hey guys, I'm Lokesh Kapoor, using Dwight Gunch and in this video we're going to talk about flexible content widget, how we can use it and uh, how you can use multiple layouts, how you can uh, use stuff like ACF relationship, ACF repeater in the layouts of uh, flexible content. So we'll be uh, seeing how we can do that. So I have, you know, prepared a very uh, relevant and very straightforward solution for you guys so here i am on my dashboard and in the acf field groups you can see i have this acf flexible content the field here uh, the name of the field is simply the flexible content i have multiple layouts three layouts uh, specifically on um, profile movies and related posts profile is basically for the simple uh, field types for example like text and google map i have one uh, you can add more fields numbers and all uh, but yeah that is especially i have created for the normal fields the profile field will hold the information for the user profile or something like that you can definitely use the flexible content for your advanced websites uh, for example your listing website directory website kind of you have a city listing website you can use uh, this flexible content to show the uh, you know address information information about the place that you were listing and all of this stuff can be very uh, you know easily uh, managed and generated using flexible content and gives you a variety of features and using the multiple layouts so you can you know achieve a lot of things then i have this movies layout in a movies layout i have this uh, repeater field top movies and in the repeater field i have these three fields for the movie the name of the movie the launch year and the trailer video okay and then in the related posts i have this uh, related post relationship field that will hold the posts from the post post type okay so this is the structure of my ACL relationship you can specify how much you know layouts can be generated the minimum number of layouts for related post layout and maximum number of layouts that you can generate for this specific layout okay that is the thing you can do and you can also clone duplicate the layouts over here when ready just save changes and here i am on the page itself okay uh, where i had specified this flexible content this was the page and here i have all these uh, layouts i have set information mark gaming italy the country the age okay handed this hypothetical information i have put in and then the address and then i have two layouts for movies just to show you that you can multiply or repeat the layouts and then i have the information in the lay uh, in this uh, movies layout and you can see the name launch year trailer video everything has been specified three posts from the related posts as well and here the second layout for the movies the information set in now this is the page you can see we will be achieving this uh, after the end and here you can see the information and the first flexible content uh, where the repeater was used the movies layout and the second one that we duplicated and set the information and now here is the main page okay and this is simply the ACF flexible content widget from dynamic.o okay dynamic.o offers you plenty of widgets so whether it is acf relationship acf repeater and many more acf slider acf gallery a lot of fields are there if you're using acf then it is kind of a boon for you and you can use these uh, you know widgets to uh, achieve a lot of functionalities not only that they've launched dynamic uh, short codes plugin uh, which is very very useful for those uh, you know who want to you know achieve a lot uh, more functionalities in your websites so without further ado let's quickly get in and see how you can use the ASAP flexible content widget here you can see uh, i have set the field uh, the field you can search over here and set and then i am using the current post i am retrieving this field from the current post itself and then here for the first layout profile which was i have searched and selected the profile layout and then here in the dynamic html i have used this token format to retrieve the value of the fields inside the layout so for example here you go just on the profile and just can click on it the 
value will be copied so this is the field key from where you can access the value and if i watched my videos earlier about tamic oacf in wordpress you will definitely be aware or acquainted with all the terminologies and how we retrieve things yeah so this is the value of the field key and then row is a format to you know retrieve something from in the layout okay uh, using this token html format and here you can see the name uh, the row name where the value of it is coming from the acf name and then interest and age you can also retrieve it otherwise this is the layout from html you can write a sentence uh, uh, for example i am uh, row name okay uh, i am this year of year old so you can basically use this dynamic context or the content uh, the way you want okay so i used it using a table which looked more professional and if you look at the websites like uh, some directory websites you can see that this kind of information is generally uh, used in you know uh, tables like if you are having a rental website or probably a restaurant website or maybe a residential website where the floor where the floor information is being used you can see that all the information is being used in the table format and then i have this movies section where you can see i have set a layout and for template i have not used dynamic html over here i have used a template okay and when you click on this you will find that repeater in acf flexible content acf flexible layout so this is the one repeater and here is the heading for this and here i have used the acf repeater now acf repeater is also having a template over here and the acf repeater template i have used a video and uh, you know name of the movie and year so this information i have used from the movie uh, repeater itself so let's go here top movies and yeah name year and video so this you can copy over here and use the information inside this uh, syntax i will share a link in description so you can see how you can use a dynamic shortcut syntax in your uh, pages yeah so when set you can save it and then use that template in your acf repeater uh, widget and use this uh, template in your acf flexible content so it's a long process but it's very very easy so you have to first create a template for the acf repeater then you have to create a template for the acf relationship and yeah this is how it all works so when you're ready it will automatically get all that information from here now lastly i have this layout for the acf relationship things are a little bit the same you click on this and here you can find the layout for the relationship in acf flexible content where i have used the acf relationship widget of course and here you can see this is the acf relationship widget itself and these are basically the posts that i have retrieved through it it is taking a little bit of time so let's give it time and reload again so now you can see this is a grid simply i have not used any template in this issue relationship widget and here you can set the issue relationship field the related posts over here and uh, yeah you can manage uh, the content from here the items you can select what to show and what to not i have this a featured image in a title you can select the background give it some padding yeah and that's how it looks in the grid and this is how you can create uh, you know a page using flexible content and this is uh, quite easy using dynamic o if you if you haven't downloaded the plugin you can check out a link in the description and you will get some discount uh, if you use my plugin right crunch and yeah it is a clear link uh, i will get some commission but it will not cost you anything uh, much okay so yeah if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up you can suggest me more videos for my future content and yeah please subscribe so that i may you know get motivated to make more videos for you